in Phnom Penh. I always want to immerse myself in a local way of life, steering clear of the typical tourist spots seen on Instagram and tuk-tuk for city visitors. And I failed. Tuk-tuks are just too convenient. Tourism contributed a staggering 32% to the GDP before the pandemic, helping this country, which emerged from war over 30 years ago, return to the world stage. Along for the ride is infrastructure. New highway, new stadium, and new national gateway. I'm traveling around the world to visit a league of ambitious new engineering wonders and find out the extraordinary building challenges Alongside. and the intelligence given to those giants. Well, I'm so excited. <laughs> Tekel Tecmel International Airport in Phnom Penh, posited to be one of the largest airports in the world. To show me around the city in her new airport, I can't think of anyone better than this man, Han Amantak, a native Cambodian, a civil engineer, and my Chinese man, Hong Jujian, my honorary homeboy from Northeast China. I studied civil engineering in China from bachelor degree in 2018 from Harbin Institute of Technology. It's in Harbin City, the northeast of China. Very cold place. You like Harbin? Yeah, I like it, but during the winter time, normally I will uh, come back to Cambodia. <laughs> it's too cold for you. <laughs> because it's too cold. <laughs> As the new airport's technical manager, Hong can rarely enjoy a leisurely coffee break like other Cambodians. Wow. This tradition start from the colonial yeah, the okay. era. Yeah. Before we have a uh, friend colonial uh, Cambodia, so we drink coffee. The colonial days left not only coffee, but also a preference for European standards of infrastructure. And after civil war ended, Cambodian infrastructure has been gaining momentum in recent years with foreign aid from countries like Japan, South Korea, the U.S. and China. But an airport like this is still a huge leap forward. If it is, it will be the ninth largest airport in the world. Covering over 2,600 hectares, the airport is designed to feature three four-kilometer runways for landing the largest long-haul aircraft to handle 50 million passengers annually. It's been designated a 4F-level airport. Engineers are about to create one of the biggest enclosed spaces in the world, keeping it light and airy. A big space requires a big roof. And at 216 meters wide and 324 meters long, this is no ordinary roof. Well, I'm so excited. <laughs> you can see now that the steel structure, they do the skin coat. That's the largest rooftop in Cambodia. Yeah. To touch the roof, we need to go 50 meters high because you need uh, the span to be big, so you need to use this kind of structure. And um, the difficult thing about this kind of structure, there are a lot of uh, connection. You can see the building. Well, building. Yeah. By reorganizing the steel using simple geometry, the beam becomes stronger despite weighing less. This lattice design allows each 36-meter span rich with just one huge but light structure to support itself without half the pillars, leaving as much space as column-free for passengers. 
for the passenger flow to get a good view and also for the passenger flow to go inside the terminal for checking, they can go fast. Cranes are deployed along the parameters of the terminal to lift the roof components. It's getting hotter as lifting work goes to the center. The crane needs to be driven up to the second floor to finish the lifting. To prevent the slab from being crushed, the engineer needs to precisely plan the crane's working route and make supports beneath along the way. It's kind of a math game to get the maximum lifting area with the minimum travel area. At airports, it's not just a roof that have huge spans. There are also the floors. From pillar to pillar, the floor beams are 18 meters long. The span is big. If you use the normal concrete reinforcement, the deflection might not be uh, good enough. The team is using post-tension technology to solve it by threading the steel stranded into the slabs. As you can see, uh, supposing uh, this one is a uh, tendon of the system, and then when you stretch it, it will go up. And when this go up, it will give the beam the additional stress to uh, have the beam to become stronger than a normal reinforcement concrete. Can we get to the top of that? Yeah, let's go. It's safe in here. Wow. More beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You can see the camera of future from here. That's the future. <laughs> That's, That's the future. future. <laughs> That's Cambodia's Manhattan. Yeah. After this uh, airport finish, uh, there will be one highway to go to Phnom Penh City, so we might spend only 20 minutes from here to Phnom Penh. Well, it's so hard to believe that 30, 40 years ago, this country was still in the war. Yeah. We are moving in a, a good direction. This is the charm of architecture. This is the charm of construction. <laughs>